This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And as you guys know last time we removed the light from the bike. So today we have to fix it. So as you can see it's, it's fogging up. Um, what I did last night is I put water in the, the light because it was uh, getting moisture in and I put water in to flush out all the broken glass and pieces that was in here from the previous globe and we also discovered that the whole light is cracked open here there's a big crack here um, as you guys can see it's cracked on the edge it's cracked there so that's where all the moisture is coming in now we need to seal this off and today we're going to do that so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So first the thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of all the, the fog inside, all the moisture, before we seal it. Because once we seal it, um, it might be a problem uh, to get rid of all this. Okay guys, so what I did is, um, I did leave it overnight to dry out, there was water in it that I couldn't get out, so I took a, uh, a cloth, I put the cloth in at the back, and I used a long stick, and I kind of wiped out the whole inside, I wiped it out, to clean it out, and then I left it overnight. So, this morning, we're going to quickly seal, um, seal the crack, we're going to use normal clear silicone and we're going to silicone this whole thing to make sure that there's no moisture that's going to get in here. I'm going to put it nice and thick and we're going to leave it for a couple of hours to dry. Using clear silicone is way better because now um, nobody else can see, just see it. So. Okay guys, so the silicon is dry, the light is clear, all the moisture is out, all the fog is out, so the light looks good, and this is now sealed and dry, so it's time to reassemble the bike. Okay guys, so we're going to start reassembling, but before we start reassembling, I'm just going to take a wet cloth and start wiping down everything that's full of dust and just clean the bike. Um, reassembling always takes longer because this is when you start cleaning everything. To reassemble the bike we're simply gonna go backwards. Start with the component that you stopped with. So first we're going to install the globes, install the headlight unit and tighten the bolts. I decided to test the light quickly before I put everything back together just to realize it's not working. So at least now the gloves are working. Next up we are putting back the front covers. Now that all the covers are clipped and in place, it's time to put back the speedometer. For some reason I, I'm having a problem with this front cover. It didn't clip in everywhere where it's supposed to clip, so now I'm sitting with a permanent gap. 
I think there's some of the clips that broke, so that's actually really irritating. The next thing to put back is the windscreen. Now it's starting to look good again. Next up is the top side covers and reconnecting the indicators. And there is that irritating gap that I spoke about. I just can't get the thing to close. Okay guys, so side panels are back, everything's clipped in, it looks good, only one problem, I'm sitting with five extra screws and I don't know where they are going. The holes that I do have that is not um, plugged in with anything yet, seems like it only needs um, clips, not screws, so I need to go buy new clips because I have to buy clips and um, that's one thing I don't have is clips so I need to buy five more or a packet of new clips but otherwise it's looking good again um, I think tomorrow when I get the clips I'll just go through everything again the light is in the bike is reassembled I'm gonna take it for a drive so remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.